headspace, um, into like uh, like a period piece, uh, like a nice little twist at the end there, like like the kid at the at the little mother daughter relationship, kind of like kind of interesting directorial design because basically it's from the point of view of underneath the table, kind of like scenes that you don't really see that much, and it's got a little kind of like nice little cool ending with uh, the magnifying glass. Anybody want to make the first comment about Headspace? Yeah, I really like the, the like a twist uh, from uh, you have like a feeling of this is like like this this boy is like mad or something or really depressed right yeah. apparently and uh, some family kind of film and then all of a sudden there's a thriller going on right yeah. with, with with you see like you're discovering oh he's he's pouring something in a drink and and gonna happen and then oh the glass is, is, is broken oh good good and then what happens it's and it's that short and it's amazing it's just five minutes yeah. so it's like feels much longer yeah kudos yes yeah it's one of those it's a great like that's the probably the best compliment you get of a short film five minutes it, it tells many different stories at the same time and I, I call it a period piece but at the same time you don't know what era you're in you don't really I don't know you guys, I couldn't catch exactly where, what era they're in, right? So it was, yeah, it's like it does. It starts as a drama, as a family film, and then it turns into a thriller. I thought it was really cool as like somebody that works with kids with autism mm -hmm. and emotional disabilities. That's kind of what I got from the little boy, that he had something like that. And to, so to see him in a, like a heroic way and kind of like saves his mom. Mm -hmm. And I think kids with autism kind of get like a rap where they don't really have as much emotions because they can't portray them as well. But like he really did love his mom and he really did like want to protect her. So I thought that was really cool. Cool, yeah, because at the beginning you think that there's some sort of disconnect between the mom and the son because he's, uh, he's at the beginning. She kind of lets him be in a sense, right? And then you see how much it's he, how much he's like he's going to do what he's going to do for his mom. So yeah, thank you very much for that. It's like nice little character. Like I said, a lot going on in five minutes. Very well done. Uh, that especially for a short film um, that you're easily invested into the characters because um, usually it's kind of hard to develop characters in, in a film in general especially a short but I felt pretty connected to the characters like one or two minutes into the film into the film and then when uh, the guy started doing the stuff that he was doing uh, I kind of like he started really like care for their well-being and uh, I thought that's uh, was very well executed Thank you. In the moral of the story, don't let the pizza guy in. in your house. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how good looking he is, or she is, right? Yeah. I work in mental health too, like her, and I just thought it was beautiful that it showed the subtleties of his communication, um, you know, like externally. So when he made the little frown with the bacon, and how he's kind of feeling inside, but when push comes to, push comes to shove, he still has those innate human emotions to protect. Um, and it, it humanized the character for me, so I really like that. I love the use of um, the cinematography was great with directing and how it opened up with the young boy laying there and how the light moved over him and it really accentuated his eyes. And if you notice throughout the film, you really saw his eyes. So even though he may not communicate verbally, but so much is communicated, it showed that he could watch. And even though he's quiet, and he's under the table, he sees everything. And it was what he saw. Um, he saw what the man was doing, the man was doing with the drink. He saw what was his motives. And in the end, he basically saved his mother. So I thought it was just really well made. It was done beautifully. It seems like people were really taken with this film. And it teaches you what you can do in five minutes in one location, just three actors and how you can basically create a nice cinematic design, like you said, in just that little location. It's like, it's, it's a perfect example of what you can do if you just, if with like all these little limitations, I guess, like think about the first film until that film. It's like what you can do.